What if I told you there is a way to eliminate the recoil on any gun in the game, including the AK? Well, technically, there is. Okay, let me elaborate here real quick. There is no actual way to get rid of the recoil on a gun, but there is ways to get damn near close to it, and this is going to be one of them. You're going to want to make sure that you have virtual stock on. This helps you stabilize the weapon if you have shaky hands like me. This is me with virtual stock on, and then this is me with virtual stock off. It's a 100% recommendation. It might take a minute for you to get used to it, but it doesn't take too long. It probably took me like 5 minutes to get used to it, and I noticed that there was a big improvement on my gameplay. Also, you don't need to mess with these settings, because these settings are perfect the way they are. When you look at my gameplay, it does look like I have a gun stock, but I don't actually have a gun stock. If you bring your hands really close together, it applies the same effect as having a gun stock, and you can move your arms much faster. There's one trick in particular to help you eliminate recoil, and this is the most common trick used by PCL players, and this is bursting. The first few bullets on most guns just shoot directly upwards, so you just have to pull the gun down. On the AK, the first four bullets shoot directly upwards. Just wait roughly half a second between each burst so that means it will reset the recoil and make it so the first few bullets go directly upwards. Then when using dual revolvers and you want to shoot really fast, you kind of have to just throw your arms down. It does take some practice, but once you get it down, it's really easy. And to kill some time since this video is only a minute long, I'm just going to go ahead and show you some clips that I have. I'm on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> Damn.